Hello. Well, I thought I would make a video for Black History Month about um, my studies for the month. Um, I am doing the audio on the new Jim Crow and about to do the 1916 project, I believe. Whoo! The new Jim Crow. I think that this book should be mandatory uh, in police academies and anyone going into law enforcement. Um, it, it just has a lot of information that I, I think either they're ignoring or they just choose not to pay attention to. But I think people would make better decisions about going into the police department if, um, if that would be part of their study curriculum. Um, everything that's stated in the book is true. Uh, it's been proven and, um, it's shocking. I knew it, but I didn't know it in such detail. Information there that I didn't know, some I did, but it does during this uh, month of uh, American history, our, our black history, it's very upsetting, but I don't let things upset me anymore, especially things like this, because uh, we need to make change. Being upset is just not going to help. Um, we have to do things now to change this situation and to change the reality of what's uh, what's going on in the United States. It's pretty terrible for people of color, especially young black men and black men, black women. Um, the majority, which are people of color, we are the majority. That's another myth, we are the majority. Uh, and just being targeted constantly. I, I've always lived in uh, majority white uh, neighborhoods, uh, so I haven't been subject to a lot of what I read in the book and I've heard in the book because I'm not in proximity of that. But I do notice when I go and show homes and I'm in primarily black and Latino neighborhoods that there is a heavy police presence uh, unnecessarily. I, I've always noticed it late at night, uh, you know, la lights flashing under the windows of children while they're sleeping, children of color, uh, while they're sleeping constantly. It's, for me, I always feel like, do you know what that child is going through if his window is there? He sees a police car in his neighborhood daily, day in, day out with these lights flashing what is doing to him psychologically. And I think I think if police officers, before they entered the police force, and I don't believe we need any more police. I think we need more, better schooling. We need um, uh, better education. We don't need any more police. Uh, we need uh, better housing. We need better services for uh, poor families. We need, we definitely need more low income housing that people can purchase so they can own their own properties and get out of these situations. This is the, what we need to work on in this country, is to, to take care of, the United States needs to take care of its people. Stop torturing them. Stop making money off the backs of the majority, which are people of color. Stop making money off of us and help take care of your people. Healthcare, housing, schooling, that's what we need. That's all I wanted to say for this Black History Month. Um, I hope everyone's educating themselves, reading more, studying our past, figuring out how we got here and how we can move forward finally. Um, I am Generation X coming off of Baby Boomer. I think I'm an X. Um, yeah, we, we, just, we just forgot about all this and just left and did us. And um, I apologize. For, to the millennials out there for, we dropped the ball. We, we just didn't care anymore. We just wanted to get out. And that's what a lot of us did. And, and it's time for us to come back, go back to our neighborhood, go back to our homes and start running for political office, uh, showing up, doing things. Even if you're an older person, uh, volunteer to speak at schools, uh, speak to the young people. Even if you see them on the street, say hi. Be nice, knowing that they're going through a lot because they're carrying the burden. 
that we stop carrying. Okay, they're still carrying it. We have to get our children out of this. We have to do better and we have to be present and we have to be diligent and we have to actually see what happened. Read those two books. At least do the one, the one. If you text me, I'll send you the audio of the new Jim Crow, just so you can understand that this is something that's so systemic. It is almost impossible to just see it if you don't live in that neighborhood, if you don't surround yourself uh, oh, with people who are being tortured daily. All right. I just wanted to get that off my chest for Black History Month 2020, 2022. Black History Month, February, Black History Month. Well, thank you for my TED Talk. You have a blessed day now. Bye-bye. Fairyland Group. Let's talk about it now in Fairy's Treasures. Let's talk about it now in the Fitness Fairy. Please subscribe to um, our YouTube channels. You'll see the subscribe below if you're on YouTube, uh, TikTok, or Instagram. Just hit us up. Call me if you need me. Bye.